Thank you for joining us this Friday for Midday. I'm Erin Rogers. Happening today, attorneys for the former Memphis police officers who are now facing murder charges after the death of Tyree Nichols are in court right now. There has been a request from the media for more video to be released from the January 7th traffic stop that led to Nichols' death. Lakita Johnson has been inside of that courtroom all morning. She says the DA's office turned over several documents to the attorneys, including some sensitive material that can't be released until trial. However, the attorneys say it wasn't organized correctly, so they weren't sure what information could or couldn't be used. Well, the media wants anything released that won't hurt the investigation. We've been told there are several hours more of that video that was released. You may remember earlier at the end of January, they released about 20 hours of video from that traffic stop. Well, now the judge is giving the state two weeks to come up with a list of information that they don't plan on using in trial and hand that over to the attorneys. And they say that that information will also be able to be released to the public. Well, we do know that this all happened after the death of Tyree Nichols, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills, Justin Smith, and Tadarius Bean are all facing several charges, including second-degree murder, aggravated assault, and kidnapping. They were all part of the now disbanded Specialized Scorpion Unit within MPD. That was supposed to lower crime in the city. But following the traffic stop in Hickory Hill in January, video already released shows those five officers beating, tasing, and pepper spraying the 29-year-old. Nichols died three days later. An autopsy shows he died from blunt force trauma. Well, the officers will be back in court on June 5th. That's also when the state has to have their list ready to hand over to the defense attorneys. Well, speaking of those five officers, a state agency is holding off on a decision about the decertification of one of them. Tadarius Bean is one of the officers fired and now facing second degree murder charges. Bean did not appear at that decertification hearing, but his lawyer did requesting that suspension. This means his decertification is pending until the conclusion of other court proceedings like today's. Well, the other four officers were decertified back in March, meaning that they will no longer be able to work in law enforcement in Tennessee.